chats with the exiled Midwestern Iowan friends and proprietors. After an hour of excited gab gabbing, Wallace and Loon retreat to a parking lot where they chow on Indian leftovers from Sherpas, mushroom cactus remains, and they talk calmly to local police when asked about their purpose and plans. Later, xylophones discovered in the park after dark, and plans to return there in the morning, which they did, and staccato and walrus and sang and shruti and loon stretched and danced on the stage in the park. Loon and walrus breakfasted at provisions, arugula dressed with lemon vinaigrette, topped with poached eggs and English muffin hats and peach jam, pastrami hash, spuds, and duck fat. Friday, August 13th, I looked within to find my treasures. Working backwards from this golden hemisphere of western Utah, ranch country, sagebrush clusters, and islands of juniper, tall and imposing, yet warm indigo ranges wrap our horizon on three sides. Nearing the Utah Nevada border, we've just removed a coyote and its entrails from Highway 50 near Sepia, Utah. After blessing it and offering amends for the harm these vehicles do, we saw a memorial, a cross, a crucifix, naming Tyler and Kate, not 100 yards later, but unseen until we passed a second time. The first time was the turnaround. Then, in Sepia, Sepia, ha ha ha, we overshot the turnoff and spun around at the dead end, witnessed by loungers in the front of their home. How many others had they seen before us? Before all that, we were swooping honeydew hats and honeydew hats at Salina, Utah, we loved. Writing about antelope cantaloupe, but that stopped at the end of a descent from Black Dragon Canyon. Something neither of us were expecting, but it's a day of the unexpected. Green River, where Loon lost her bronze gear 18 years ago, and famous for melons, becomes the setting for a friendship reunion that could not have been planned better by the heavens. And that, in fact, is what Loon believes in her melting, tenderizing heart. That spirit is interested in helping her, too, to join the dance party. Walrus certainly makes that effort to welcome her, not from over there, but right here, where we already are and always were. And so, into the deepening night, Loon and Walrus alternate the progression onto the loneliest road. The Phillips station at the border offers gambling and a faded coyote postcard. Switch drivers in Ely miss Ruth and Garden Hill.
now deserving none of our wrath or rebellion, but all of our imperfect praise and gratitude. And after dinner outdoors, some Thai food, musical accompaniment by a masked acoustic guitar playing cover song guy with enthusiasm before the wedding or about next up, we strode out into the boardwalk marina and around downtown Vallejo. Father and son sharply confronting those without masks. We returned for conversation in the dark apartment, followed by tool getting and milk crates went, and on to bed. Moon could scarcely keep her eyes open in the car on the way home. Sunday came with a thunderclap, a lush morning rain with the hopes of cooling temperatures, a day to do laundry, and to linger about, enjoy a granola, yogurt, melons. Certainly, if you know, focusing, communicating with the bride to be, and beginning to learn the song of songs, Dodi Lee. Making our way to Venetia and reconnecting with the plantscape, fresh figs and grapefruits, and chest high jade plants, adorning the historic center. Dinner at Sailor Jack's with the pools, they don't, he doesn't, for New Year's Eve. Walrus getting splattered with the upchuck of an unknown woman who is rendering aid to. She thinks he remembers, but is hesitant. She doesn't remember seeing the tattoo on the walrus's leg, his only tattoo of a fetal baby skeleton. I don't have the fontanelle for this, Library calls her. An intense sky blue pink vista from Grandpa Milton cuts through for us. Pools join us back here for some conversation on the dock. Life tends towards insects and in the home and what to do about them, and suddenly it's their bedtime. We turn on the princess bride and both doze during the adventure scenes, awakened almost on cue by.